going on everybody? I'm Mark Youngworth from We Are Change Oshkosh. This video is regarding the official statement by We Are Change NYC about the removal of We Are Change Oshkosh from the wearechange.org main site. We Are Change NYC's official statement reads as follows. The recent deletion of We Are Change Oshkosh as a chapter and the freezing out of its administrator privileges for organizer Mark Youngworth on the wearechange.com was executed by, sites, by that site's administrator, Luke Radowski. Such unilateral actions go against the code of conduct, as stated on wearechange.com. Number six, all members will treat each other with respect at all times. Disagreements should be resolved in a peaceful and mature fashion. We will not always agree, but we will respect each other's opinions. Therefore, WACNYC stands in solidarity with the Oshkosh activists and its organizer Mark Youngworth on this issue only and seeks immediate action from Luke Radowski on returning We Are Change Oshkosh to its rightful place among the global network of grassroots activists listed on wearechange.com. This is the official We Are Change Oshkosh response to the statement by We Are Change NYC. We Are Change Oshkosh appreciates the gesture of solidarity from We Are Change NYC. However, every member of We Are Change Oshkosh still has serious doubts about the legitimacy of the leadership of We Are Change NYC and are highly suspect about the motivations behind such a decision. It appears that the decision to support the Oshkosh chapter and put the entire blame on Luke Radowski falls in line with the article from Redacted News, which admittedly by Craig Fitzgerald, carries a heavy anti-Luke bias. WAC Oshkosh is not siding with Luke Radowski, but rather is at this point convinced that the leadership behind We Are Change NYC is doing all they can to use Luke Radowski as the fall guy, while now putting the authority and direction of We Are Change NYC in the hands of a 32nd degree Freemason. Are we the only chapter that finds it extraordinarily suspicious that the anti-Luke redacted article that was promoted and spread by We Are Change NYC, made it a point to emphasize that the NYC chapter collectively kicked out Luke Radowski for mismanaging of finances and then held elections for new positions, making it appear to be cleaned up and free from the bad apple. We understand that the, new or, new, the NYC chapter claims they held elections for specific positions, and we do believe that to be true. However, we also know it to be true that although elections may occur, they can be controlled. Hypothetically, even if the elections were absolutely legitimate, the goal of intelligence agencies and operatives is often to direct the opinions and thoughts of certain political groups or movements in their desired direction by promoting and or discrediting a particular idea. We believe this to be the case with Craig Fitzgerald, and most likely at least one or two others who have been with the group and at the top of it for quite some time. We Are Change Oshkosh does not and will not have official affiliations with any member of any secret society. We Are Change Oshkosh hereby declares its sovereignty from all other chapters, individuals, and or entities. We Are Change Oshkosh supports all genuine and positive activist actions. However, we cannot ignore the well-documented history of Freemasonry manipulating revolutions and wars from behind the scenes of both sides for consolidation of wealth and power and furthering the elitist New World Order agenda. With the current political climate and the mainstream news clearly attempting to push the people of the United States into social upheaval, if not the next American Civil War, We Are Change Oshkosh feels it would be foolish and irresponsible to put any sort of trust in a 32nd degree Freemason who is also a member of the John Birch Society which has been thoroughly exposed as a controlled opposition group that was founded and funded by many of the same individuals who set up the ultra-elite Council for National Policy. That is the official statement in response to We Are Change New York. We Are Change Oshkosh also feels that we must point out that the statement given by We Are Change NYC contained false information as follows. The recent deletion of We Are Change Oshkosh as a chapter and the freezing out of its administrator privileges for organizer Mark Youngworth on wearechange.com. Note it says wearechange.com. 
wearechange.com has never been a We Are Change website. To my knowledge, wearechange.com has never existed in the history of We Are Change. They repeat the website name wearechange.com one, two, three times. Throughout the statement, which is only a matter of a few sentences long, three times We Are Change NYC gives the improper web address for We Are Change's original main site. The address is wearechange.org. Wearechange.org. Not wearechange.com. The people at the head of We Are Change NYC clearly know this and have known this for some time. They are well aware of the fact that wearechange.com is not a We Are Change website. Ask yourself, why would they do that? Why would they give wearechange.com as the URL? That makes no sense. Anyone who goes to wearechange.com will only find that wearechange.com is not a website for the activist group We Are Change. I'm Mark Youngworth for We Are Change Oshkosh. End of transmission.